Hey everybody, Ben here, back in the game room. It's Monday evening. Uh, I'm about to head out uh, to make a trade. So, um, uh, first of all, shout outs to everybody who watched the last video um, where I talked a lot about uh, the big yard sale pickup I got. It was a crazy pickup last Saturday. Just found tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, most of it came from one yard sale. Uh, and it just goes to show with the yard sales and stuff, you're going to strike out a ton but every so often, if you keep at it, uh, you do uh, pay off with those things. Um, that video got more uh, views than in the first day than any video I've ever posted on YouTube. So thank you so much. If we have new people to these videos, thanks for sticking around. I, I really appreciate it. I think 85% of the people though who watched that video didn't subscribe. So if you're still watching these videos, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. Uh, we're at, at the time of this recording, 404 subscribers, which is a huge jump from where we were before. I'd love to see that hit 500 subscribers uh, because uh, we're really trying to go to the channel here. Anyway, uh, thanks again for everybody for watching and enjoying that video. Uh, for what we have today, uh, I have a pickup coming up from Facebook Marketplace. A uh, person kind of flaked out on me a little bit, uh, but we worked it out in the end in terms of, let's see, oh, I just, sorry, I want to get the, the image there. Um, Really worked out in the end. Um, it was 65 bucks for a bunch of PS3 games, but I had to do some finagling to get that working. Uh, also, we're trading some of the GameCube games that we got from the pickup on Saturday to a friend, Jared. He's going to uh, trade me some cool stuff back, some harder to find items that I wanted for the collection. Uh, additionally, uh, he just got a JFJ resurfacer, so I'm going to give him a bunch of games that I want him to resurface for me so that I could trade them. Uh, so that's going to happen too. So anyway... All that's coming up. Uh, I'm going to show real quick the stuff we're trading away, and then I'm going to drive out of here and meet up with them. So here's what we got. Uh, some pretty good stuff going out. Uh, first of all, uh, cor correction on the last video. I'm going to give this to Jared. It's actually just the case. I thought it was the game and the case. It's just the case. Bummer, but whatever. Even the case has some value to it. Uh, but I'm going to be trading away three games. The first one Jared was asking about was WarriorWare Inc. I actually thought I didn't have this. Turns out I did. So this was available for trade, and um, he's going for a lot of GameCube stuff, so I wanted to make sure I gave him first dibs on it. Um, we came up with a trade first on this one, and then I asked him if he wanted anything else, and he mentioned the Mario Party games. So he's getting Mario Party 6 and 7, which are quite pricey. So uh, as you might imagine, I'm going to get something pretty good in return on that too. So uh, when we get back here, I will show you exactly what we got, and then also I'm going to show you guys uh, what we picked up yesterday uh, on our little road trip that we made to get something special for the game here. It's a really unique piece and I hope everybody likes it. So stay tuned on that. All right, so we're back in the game room. It is Monday evening. Uh, I went out after work today to make a trade with some of the stuff we got uh, last weekend as well as uh, do a local Facebook pickup. So first I'm gonna talk about the Facebook pickup. It was a really weird one and um, I think there are some lessons here, uh, even for myself, in terms of what can uh, happen, how you should uh, approach these situations. So uh, I saw a listing, Facebook Marketplace, it said PS3 games, uh, it was $50, make me an offer, I need to get rid of them today, and it was really close by. And so, uh, of course I was gonna go for it, it was a big stack of games, I thought it was worthwhile, so I said, how about 40 bucks? They wanted to get rid of them today, so I wanted to make a a uh, pretty aggressive offer. They said, sure, uh, which thrilled me. It was about 30 some games, 40 bucks, can't go wrong with that. Uh, and then she said, uh, I've got a bunch of other games. Do you want to see those too? I said, great. She took a picture. I said, how about 10 bucks more? She said, how about 60? I said, great, 60 bucks, I'll do it. Uh, when do you want to meet? Let's meet uh, right now. You know, everything is going great for me. And then she goes dead silent for a while. And she comes back to me and says, uh, someone else offered, offered 65, uh, what can you do? And I thought to myself, well, you offered this to me for 60. Like I didn't set the price. She just offered me these items at 60 and we had a deal. And then she's coming back to me and saying she wants more because some other person tried to one up me on Facebook. This happens from time to time. Um, I eventually said to her, I said, look, you know, we had a deal. I'm not trying to be a jerk but you offered this to me for 60, I'll do 65, but I'm not looking to go back and forth. And that got the deal done. Um, my advice is almost no matter how good a deal is, 
when people start messing with you on price after you've already come to an agreement, it's probably time to back away. And I, the only reason I did this was because uh, I felt like, A, it was very close by, like I didn't have to drive anywhere to get to get there practically, and the deal was really good. Um, she mentioned she was on some hard times and she needed every dollar she could. I, I really, when I met her, I really didn't buy that, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and I don't mean to be judgmental or anything like that. I think she was just giving me bullshit because she was trying to get more money out of me. Uh, but we still got a really good deal. So let's show this off. I don't know if everybody cares about that story. It's basically a series of PS3 games. Nothing here is exceptionally rare, but there's definitely stuff we're going to add to the collection. There's some stuff here that's very, very common as well. So we have uh, Little Big Planet 2. I don't believe I have it. Uh, Far Cry 2. Um, maybe we'll keep it. I'm not sure. Dead Island. This is going for trade. Uh, Just Cause 2. I'm pretty sure I have this. Uh, this is, I think, an expansion, Dragon Age uh, Awakening Origins. I don't really want it, so I'll trade it. Uh, Beyond Two Souls, this is the Steelbook Edition. I think I have this already, so this will probably go for trade. I know I have the game, I just am not sure if it's a Steelbook. Either way, something's going. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, I, not, I'm not keeping it. Brutal Legend, I'm pretty sure I have. Assassin's Creed Three. pretty sure I have. We got more. This is a pretty big lot. Uh, Alpha Protocol. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep. I don't think I have this already. Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, Alpha Protocol is a really interesting game. It's like Obsidian. It's like this weird RPG thing. I actually didn't like it when I played it very much, but I didn't. I don't have it on PC, so we'll probably keep it. Or I don't have it on PS3, so we'll probably keep it. Uh, Dark Souls 2. Uh, this is the Steelbook, the Black Armor Edition. This is pretty nice, but I already have it on 360, and I don't think I need to have multiple more copies of this. Ratchet and Clank, A Crack in Time. I already beat this game. I don't... I think I have it already, so we'll probably uh, trade that. Uh, Final Fantasy XIII 2, an actually really good game. I recommend it, uh, but I have it. I think I have a special edition version of it. Dark Souls, definitely have already. Uh, Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition. This will probably be an upgrade for me. I don't think I have the Game of the Year Edition of it. So we'll probably swap the one I've got. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. It's supposed to be a really good game, but I would probably want it on like Switch or something where it runs a little bit better. Super Street Fighter 4, I'm pretty sure I have. Final, uh, Final Fantasy 5. Resident Evil 5, pretty sure I, I've got already. Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition. Uh, I might keep this just because uh, it may be hard to tell, but the, it's got the you know outer cover thing and it looks pretty cool. So I actually may keep this. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, I have a billion copies of, and same for Dishonored. Uh, now we're going to get into probably some of the games that we probably will keep, uh, that I definitely was looking at. Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm, I don't believe I have, as well as Ninja Storm 3. Those, I think, are keepers. Prototype, I think I have. If not, we'll, we'll, um, we'll keep it, or we'll trade it. Demon Souls, I definitely have, but uh, maybe it's a condition upgrade, we'll see. Final Fantasy 13, I know I have. Uh, Fear 2, I don't think I have on PS3. We'll probably keep this one. This is a import of Monster Hunter Portable 3 uh, HD on PS3. I imagine this is in Japanese. I probably can't keep this because I don't know how to play it. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 Remastered. I've got a collector's edition of this as well, so this will go for trade. Uh, pretty cool version of the game. Uncharted 2, I definitely have. So you can see why I put up with some of the baloney with this deal, because there's just a ton of stuff here. Uh, this is the one I wanted most, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. I do not have this already. This will go into the collection. Dragon Age Origins, a trade game. Lost Planet 2. This is probably a condition upgrade on the one I just got, so we'll probably keep that. Far Cry 3. It's a great game, but I don't need it. Dead Rising 2. I'm pretty sure I have. Dead Space. I know I have. Modern Warfare 2. I know I have. Uh, Motor Storm, pretty sure I have it. And then just a few more. Uh, Borderlands 1, uh, I'll get rid of. Resistance 2, almost certain I have. And God of War Collection, I know I have. Super big pile of games. I think it's like 39 games in total for PS3. Um, most of them are trade. Um, you know, we just got rid of a lot of commons, so I knew that, uh, I, whoops, I, <laughs> I knew that I would definitely, uh, be willing to get some more trade bait. And so, um, for 65 bucks, you can't go wrong with this and, uh, adding to the PS3 collection. So that was pretty good. Um, 
Also, in addition to that pickup, uh, we took a few of the games from the GameCube, uh, the, the big yard sale lot we got last week, and we've already traded them. I uh, traded it with a viewer of the channel, Jared, uh, my bud, uh, who we've done a number of trades, if you've watched the channel before. Um, he's always looking for GameCube stuff. I had a bunch of doubles, as I mentioned earlier in the video. I had WarioWare Inc., uh, Mario Party 6 and 7, uh, an empty case for Mario Party 5. And then we also expanded the trade a little bit to uh, include, I had a messed up version of Smash Brothers on GameCube. He has a resurfacer. So I included that in the trade because I knew he could resurface it and turn it into money for his eBay store. And I got something else. So here is everything we got for that stuff. Uh, the first three things I'll show are PS3 games, uh, RPGs, I think. Uh, definitely wanted to add these to collection. the collection. Funny story, I actually found these items on Facebook Marketplace near him, and I I said, hey, you should go pick up these games. It was a really good deal. And so he bought them, and then he's trading it to, to me for games that I found. So just another you know tip, keep this stuff in mind. You know, if um, you have buds in the area, you know, hook them up with deals because you might be able to get something out of it and, and create some goodwill to make trades and stuff like that. So this is the Guided Fate Paradox. Did not have it. I know nothing about the game. Uh, Mugen Souls and Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. Um, one more game. Oh, I'm sorry. It's in one of the cases. Uh, which one was it? I think it's this one. Uh, the other thing that completed our first part of the trade, and this is going to be hard to see on camera, is Silent Hill uh, Book of Memories on PS Vita. Uh, something I definitely wanted to have. You know, I'm looking to grow the Vita collection. Um, the original trade was these three PS3 games plus uh, Silent Hill for uh, WarioWare, which is a pretty good deal, I think. Uh, he definitely gets the most rare game, but I think it comes out pretty well to me in value. But, I mean, at the end of the day, these are games I want, and I didn't need the WarioWare. Um, the next part of the trade we made was really good, which was the all the Mario Party stuff, the Case for 5, as well as Mario Party 6 and 7. And what I got was a fantastic orange N64, as well as a fantastic, it had all the hookups, and a fantastic orange controller. Super happy to get this. Uh, definitely something I did not have already. Uh, I already have a green fantastic. I've got the smoke colored one. I've got a number of the regular color ones. I've got a box N64 up there. So getting a orange fantastic N64 uh, for basically nothing considering that I got those uh, Mario Party games just the other day as part of that big lot is something that really makes me happy. This is definitely going into the collection, so thank you very much, Jared. And then the last part of the trade, if I can find it in the bag, uh, was for the uh, Smash Brothers. So Smash Brothers, you know, pretty uh, popular game, sells for 60, 70 bucks sometimes on GameCube. I had a copy, it wasn't playing right. Jared has a JFJ resurfacer. And uh, he actually found a Dreamcast game I wanted. So I told him, well, why don't I just trade you this? And uh, you'll get the better game for sure. But uh, I need this for the collection. I'm not going to go through the trouble of resurfacing. So I got House of the Dead 2 for Dreamcast. So uh, definitely, you know, if it was... Uh, uh, this is a good trade for me just in the sense that the uh, Smash Brothers is doing nothing for me. And I know Jared could use it. So I get a game I want and get rid of something that didn't work. So super awesome trade. Thank you very much, Jared. I'm sure we're going to do other trades in the future. Oh, there was one other condition of the trade, which is that uh, since he got this fancy resurfacer, I had maybe 10 or so games that I wanted resurfaced uh, for myself that I'm going to trade out in the future, one of which is Paper Mario Thousand Year Door on GameCube uh, loose. So uh, if I get that resurfaced, I can trade that. So that was part of the deal, too. And maybe in a few weeks, I'll get some more games to trade. Um, last thing uh, I figure I'll show off before the surprise... To the video we have a little bit of a surprise today was uh we met at white marsh mall and there's a video game store at white marsh that i do enjoy going to from time to time called regen and i decided to pick some games up when i was there um these were basically about price trading value maybe you know i looked and and I'll, most of these actually were a little bit below and uh you know for games i need for the collection especially after i did so well on ebay i'm willing to pay up a little bit so we got uh Fantasy Star Online 3 Card Revolution. I think this is like a card game. I did not have this, and I felt like it was worth adding to the collection. Uh, Evolution, The World of Sacred Desire for the Dreamcast. 
Uh, I did not have this. Um, you know, we were looking to build on the Dreamcast collection, as you guys can tell probably from the most recent videos. It's in great shape. Uh, trick style. I actually just got this loose, um, but complete it was only 10 bucks, And I figured, well, I can sell my loose copy and mostly make up the difference, so I figured I'd just get that. Uh, Ooga Booga on Dreamcast. I don't know much about it, but I didn't have it. And the price was right. Nightmare Creatures 2. Uh, I hope I don't have this already. I don't think I do. Um, I think this is like a weird survival horror type game. Um, didn't have it. The price was actually pretty good on it. Uh, next Tetris Online Edition. I basically am a sucker for Tetris games, so I'll buy them any day of the week. And then uh, Iron Aces. I think this is just a flight game. I tend to like those, and the price was right. Uh, Carrier, probably the most expensive game, survival horror. They had this for about 10 bucks less than what it goes for on price charting. So, uh, again, I was sort of okay going for that. Uh, a couple more. Uh, Alien Front Online. I don't really know much about this game, but I didn't have it. And right now with Dreamcast, I'm pretty much going for things that I can get pretty good deals on um, that I don't have. Uh, and then last but not least, I really don't know about this much about this except it looks all anime, is uh, Industrial Spy Operation Espionage. I think this is a, probably a pretty hard to uh, come by game considering the fact that I don't see it. And, um, you know, when you go to enough stores and yard sales and flea markets and you don't see a game and you just keep not running into it and then you see it at a place and the price is right, uh, I tend to go for those sorts of things. You know, over the long term, uh, I know what's rare based on what I find in the wild. And I see Crazy Taxi all the time, but I don't see that game. So we picked that up as well. You know, we probably paid about 200 bucks for all these things at retail. Uh, I'm okay with it, considering uh, some of the great deals we got recently. Uh, before I end the video, uh, I have something very special to share with you. Yesterday, uh, my girlfriend and I, we drove up to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I made a deal with a guy on Facebook Marketplace. I originally saw on the Metal Jesus Rocks group uh, post for this guy trying to sell some very special video game themed furniture. Uh, I talked about it with my girlfriend. We both agreed that it was perfect for the game room. Uh, and I figured I'd show it all to you guys right now because it's so uh, cool and interesting. So I'm going to cut right here and then show it to you. Um, I guess I'll say this right now before we get to that. If you're enjoying this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, the last video did so well for me. It was amazing. Uh, so many of you uh, were new to the channel. Um, but I do encourage you, if you are enjoying this content, please subscribe. It really helps me out big time. Um, every, every little piece uh, counts. And the more we get... The more I want to give you guys great content so that you can keep enjoying this and, and enjoy me, uh, enjoying the journey. Uh, somebody commented on the last video um, about uh, how they were been watching the videos for a long time. It really uh, touched me, to be honest. And uh, when the pandemic started, uh, one of the things I kind of missed was sharing my collection with others, which is something I used to like to do. And uh, this has been a way to do that during this time. So anyway, I'm going to cut real quick and then I'm going to show you what we picked up. <laughs> All right, so we're back in handheld mode. This is what I got for the game room. Uh, I'm gonna try and zoom out as much as I can. You know, this room is not huge, um, but we got this uh, NES controller coffee table, I guess you could call it. This is custom made uh, by a guy. He used, uh, you know, plywood and some other things. He actually said he put some really heavy duty hinges on it so that the, the thing stays open. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but uh, it's really cool. Uh, it cost a lot of money. I'm not going to get into what I paid for it uh, just because it was so expensive. Uh, but Zachary, uh, he hooked me up with this. Uh, I'm going to put some links to his Etsy and uh, other and um, any details that I have for him in the description. If you're interested in something like this, he does ship apparently. Uh, this was the first item he's actually sold. And he's looking to uh, do this more. Uh, he developed uh, this hobby of like woodworking as kind of an activity to do uh, during COVID. And so uh, this is a piece he put together and he needed to move on from it. And I said, this was perfect for the game room. As I said, everything's kind of raised. And so like the buttons you could see are kind of up top. It's not functional or anything like that, uh, but it does look nice. It's really well-crafted. Uh, he even told me he was so nice about it. Uh, you could see like the indentation in the controller, just like the original controller uh, with the with the crevices in here. He, like the day before, he's, he's sending me these videos of him like priming it and buffing it and stuff. And I don't know shit about carpentry, but um, he was like making it really nice. It really smells nice too, because it was just finished again. 
Uh, and uh, he did a great job. It's not even that heavy. And so I was able to get it in the car and then over here really well. As I said, it's got hinges on it so you can open it up. Ugh, here we go. And it stays open. So you don't have to worry about it snapping shut, at least I hope. <laughs> anyway, you can see I'm already sort of loading it up. I took the Game Boy games that were in the other room and like all the handheld stuff and the memory cards and put them in here. I didn't like how they were displaying over there anyway. Uh, I put my extra PS1. I've got some cleaner and things. I I'll do more with this soon. There's actually a little hole right here if you want to like run a power cable through it. So I'll probably do that soon. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, but yeah, it's got like a nice little drawer so I can store controllers or whatever I need to in here. So uh, that's it. I thought about making a video just for this, but I'm not sure I have enough uh, information to, to, to explain it, but I really do like it. I think it's cool, and I hope you guys appreciate it. So anyway, let's wrap this up. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you've liked this content. Uh, again, the video that I posted last Sunday really did extraordinarily well, and it made me feel so, uh, so good that so many people liked it. And um, I hope you guys like all my content. If you are one of those people who's watching this and discovering this and you're liking this stuff and you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it really helps me out. Uh, the likes, comments, everything really helps out. You need to get that stuff to get seen on YouTube. Uh, you can create all the content you want, post as many times as you want, but it's these weird metrics and analytics that get your stuff seen. So anyway, that's it. Uh, please be safe out there. Uh, more game hunting uh, stuff to come. I'm going to do a video on uh, how to use price charting effectively and how I use it so that I get good deals and just tips so that you're really valuing things properly. Uh, I'm going to go out yard sailing this weekend probably because we've been doing so well and I like doing those videos. And that's it. So anyway, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.